One former NFL player is dedicating his life to bettering communities across Florida through resources and faith. One of his main focuses is fatherless children and breaking generational patterns and trauma. He speaks to imprisoned men across the state, encouraging them and giving them resources to reunite with their children. All it takes is what? All you got. All it takes is what? All you got. All it takes is what? All you got. Friday, former football player and humanitarian Jack Brewer stopped by the Franklin County Detention Facility to speak to inmates in the Fatherhood Initiative Program. Brewer runs the Jack Brewer Foundation, a faith-based nonprofit. One of its goals is to empower men to step up to be there for their kids and to lower the number of kids who are fatherless. Brewer says his father was always there, coaching him throughout his childhood. He says he watched his cousins struggle without a father, many of them going to jail at some point in their lives. He says the only difference between he and his cousins is that he had a father figure who pushed him to succeed, and he realized he wants other kids to have that too. For more than seven years, Brewer has been speaking to men in prisons and jails across Florida, empowering the men behind bars to step up and change, not just for them, but for their kids. Time after time, we're seeing that our program is really working. Um, it, it's, 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 it's contagious. Uh, we have a proof of amazing men that have completely turned their life around uh, and families that have been restored and be rebuilt. Yeah, it did boost my confidence and make me realize that I got to get out there and be a, a way better father than I was being. I may seem to think I was being a good father, but I can always be better. Brewer says he hopes that his foundation continues to grow and that more people get involved so that future generations here in Florida and across the country can continue to break the cycle. Reporting in Franklin County, Claire Jones, News Channel 7.